Dothraki diet working well. Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh review. Tonight I'm looking at the Funko Game of Thrones Legacy Collection called Drago. And uh, this was the figure I was waiting for. Uh, I'm a big Jason Momoa fan. Uh, uh, yeah, I was, I was that guy that watched Conan and still likes to watch Conan. Uh, there's just something about it. I don't, it just tickles my fancy. So when, you know, I started on Game of Thrones late, he was my favorite character, which, unfortunately, but he would, you know, I have lots of favorite characters, depending on the episode. Series 2 came around, I, he was announced, I was excited, and I am still excited. I, I, I have him in my hands, and it's such a step up from Series 1, paint-wise, uh, how sturdy it is now whenever I first opened him it was kind of scary uh, the joints had some paint locked to them some were stuck uh, the paint did chip away on his elbows here thankfully the plastic underneath is pretty close match to the skin tone it doesn't match the paint but the color it's close enough it's not gonna be obvious but I'm just happy to have paint on the skin. Man, I am excited by that. And it's nice paint compared to, you know, Jon Snow, who's just a pale, one-tone, bad beard. I mean, look at him. Just compared. This is a nice skin tone. Nice paint, nice weathering here and there, nice shading. He comes in... He comes in the standard packaging, you know, the new box type packaging that I love. You can open it, you can put them back in. The actual picture on the back. Yep. Trash. Articulation wise, his neck seems to be just a ball. It doesn't look like there's a hinge under there. So he doesn't get a lot of up and down. But he gets, you know, rotation side to side. Slight tilt to the left. Not so much to the right. Now I've been, as I was moving his head around, trying to get it, it seemed like the ponytail, I don't know, I'm not too worried about it, but it seems like if I overextend this up, it's, it's going to tear. Right here in the gold. The shoulders hinge out. Swivel. All the way around. His elbows are hinge and swivel. The right gets not a lot. The left gets slightly more, but not too much more. And then they swivel out. I've still got paint coming off a little bit. The wrists are hinge and swivel. Again, the paint kind of wore off. Not too bad though. Swivels. The waist, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, half of me wants to cut this away just to see what's going on under there. Now there is a turn in there somewhere. And there is slight back and forth. You can, you can see that it's pegged. See it? So there's no sliding up and down like I originally planned because I, I really think this is too high. It's coming up over his breastuses, and you can clearly see in the picture it's below. It's supposed to run across here. So I'm half tempted to cut it up the back, cut out the pegs, see if I can slide that down a little bit, glue it back on. Plus, I'd, I'd like to see what kind of what the torso articulation looks like under here, what the situation going. On. Plus, it would help. This would come down and cover his hips a little bit, kind of hide that break. It's not. It's not bad. Curiosity may get the better of me. We'll see. As hips are on a ball. So you get there, you get some rotation. About out to there. 
not too far back. I have a thigh swivel. Seems kind of gummy. Only because of past experience with other figures, I'm afraid to go cranking on that. So, but it does move. I just need to break it loose. The knee, lower knee on both of these legs were stuck, stuck, stuck. So, but I got them loose. They cracked loose. It was scary for a second. Nice range of movement in the double knee. And then the feet are another mystery. He has these leggings that come down around the feet. I don't know what's going on there. It almost seems like just a ball joint up into the bell bottom. There's a little movement. I can get some side to side. I can get slight, just very slight rotation for ankle rocker. And then I can get slight movement forward and back. So it, it, it seems like there's not much there. Now I need a horse. For accessories, he comes with his knives. They go right here. They can go right there. And they go nicely into his hand, too. But, let's see. Looks pretty good. They go nicely into his hand because his thumbs seem to be stuck to his fingers. I don't know if that's paint or if that's molded like that. It works well holding the knives. But it doesn't work too well for his larger blades. Bigger handles uh, flared out at the bottom, which the weapon's not a soft plastic, so they stay pretty straight. It's fairly stiff. Nice sculpting, but these aren't going to go in here like this. There's no... I can't get it through the fingers, so we're going to fix that. <laughs> Here's the tutorial. Slice. 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 I'm trying not to cut my finger off. Slice. Yeah, yeah, he's got a little thumb on his finger. There we go. But yeah, now I can hold the blade. Get in there. And he can hold that blade. The Now, the only thing that I was afraid of, and it came to pass, were the eyes. Are a little bit, I, I like, I almost want it darker, his, sh his eye shadow thing. But he's got one white line above this pupil and it kind of makes it look like this eye is a little bit looking down <laughs> do I want to cut that off like I showed earlier here he is with Jon Snow uh, he's taller but he almost looks thinner uh, I don't know it's not, maybe it's the size of Snow's head for you non Game of Thrones guys out there he's about the size of a Marvel legend Again, he seems slightly small, but he looks so damn fantastic that it doesn't bother me too much. And just for some female, here's here's Liliana from the Magic Line. But, yeah, I recommend him. I wish he was slightly bigger, but like I said, he looks so great that... I, and he'll probably be standing by himself on the shelf. You knew it happened. Curiosity got the best of me. I, I just cut it up the back. And this is what he looks like without the uh, belt. I still can't get any up and forward and back here. Look, he's got nipples. Now that's, it's, like I said, the paint's great. He, he has kind of a dirty look to him. He's got slight. I don't want to go splitting that apart and stuff, though. But in order, to, the belt has a ridge in it, and in order for it to go down, I'd have to cut away. Hell, you know I'm going to.
Where does that go? Right about there. Clean that up a little bit. Clean that up a little bit. That's why clean cut's important. So it'll go back together seamless. And believe me, I'm, I'm surprised it went back together that well. So you can make it ride down just a little bit more. That damn sculpted hip right there. But no harm, no foul. It's back to where it was. Really, I mean, I could glue that right there. And it would be down a little bit but it loses its shape as it slides down just a little bit oh it did ride down I'll be down there you go slide it down a little bit I don't know it kind of helps his silhouette a little it makes it look like he's not you know wearing old man pants if you like the video comment like subscribe and I'll see you on the foosh I spent half the night at work listening to YouTube videos of Dothraki. Uh, I was going to do some kind of funny intro or something like that. And then I realized, and if you watched any of my videos, I barely have a grasp on the English language. So that was a no-go.